What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys, but I am feeling a lot better today, which is good. And um, tomorrow there will be like a, a huge video coming out. Um, and it'll be outlining something big to come in 2020. So be on the lookout for that uh, tomorrow when uh, the next day after this video is up. There will be a, a vlog along with the video. So there will be two videos on Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, be on the lookout for that. But I'm about to go downstairs, edit yesterday's vlog, and edit the video that will be posted on Wednesday. So there's a little bit of editing to do today. And luckily I don't have to go anywhere today. So it's just more of a relaxing day, which is good. So yeah, so honestly it is a very nice day outside and like I said I'm getting over this cold so which is kind of a good thing and yeah so uh, it is currently 11.24 so I'm not going to have lunch yet but I'll probably have lunch soon. So I'm going to go downstairs and edit those two videos so I'll catch you guys later. So it is now later and I've honestly just been relaxing like I said I was going to be and honestly I'm still feeling the cold is still getting to me but it is a very nice day and I was watching the Canadian World Junior game against Finland it is it was like a pre-tournament game and Canada won 4-2 but they went to overtime in a shootout just to test the waters pretty much and uh, I was also editing yesterday's vlog which is ready to go up so it'll be up on time and um, I was editing the um, other project um, I'll talk about it in tomorrow's video and actually it'll be up before um, it'll be up before tomorrow's vlog so stay tuned uh, when this video is up there might be something on my Twitter I don't know, check out my Twitter, there might be something up about it. But, uh, if I go to my, um, my advent calendar, I have yet to have my 23rd, uh, day, so I'm about to do that, and then probably go downstairs and watch the Leafs game and interesting, but, yeah, so I'm about to do that and then go downstairs. And continue watching the Leafs game. So, um, I don't know. I'll catch you guys later. So it is now later, and I I just finished watching the Leafs game, and it was uh, it was honestly a pretty entertaining game, and a very very offensive game. There were 14 goals scored between. Both teams, Toronto ended up winning 8-6, to six, and it was, I don't know, it was just a very interesting game. It was a terrible defensive game and an okay goaltending game, but an amazing offensive game. And it was a game where they had uh, all, like, the children at the, like, it was like a next generation game or something like that. And, uh, yeah, but I'm still sick, as you guys might be able to tell. But, um, so it was, uh, it was like Toronto scored to make it 3 nothing in the first period. And then, uh, I believe Carolina scored, uh, and then it was like 5-3 Carolina made it. And then they made, it was like, uh, 6-3 or something. Um, I think something like that. And then Toronto scored to make it 6-6. Six -six. Uh, they tied it or something, I think. And then they just came and then they scored to make it 8-6. to six. But what this reminds me of, uh, the Penguins against uh, uh, the Vancouver Canucks game not too long ago. And Pittsburgh came out uh, out of the gates 2 nothing. Then Vancouver scored four unanswered goals to make it 4-2. to two. Then Pittsburgh came and scored to make it 4-3. to three. Then Vancouver scored uh, like another... Uh, two goals to make it six to three. Then Pittsburgh scored 
I don't even know how many unanswered goals. Like five unanswered goals from four. Or, uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, five unanswered goals um, to make it eight to six. So, and I don't know why. It just reminded me of that game. Just the whole atmosphere of the game. But it was a pretty interesting game. And honestly, I'm still feeling sick. But it is what it is. It's currently uh, 4:48 right now and luckily i don't have to go to work today so i'm just kind of relaxing and pretty much honestly that's all i'm doing today like i said that was the plan anyway but yeah so i got up today's video edited it and it is actually a pretty good video i'm really excited about how it turned out although if you guys haven't heard already or watched it my instagram account did get hacked so go watch today's video to find out what happened and and how it got hacked so um, yeah, and I ended up fixing it, and my Instagram account is back to normal. But also, um, like I've been mentioning in this video many times now, there is a, a little bit of a project coming out on Wednesday, and it's just something, like a little thing that is promoting something bigger that is coming out in 2020. So be on the lookout for that on Wednesday. It might be up at 1 o'clock, it might be up at 12 o'clock, because then a vlog is going out at like 3. So, be on the lookout for that, but anyway, I'm about to go downstairs, watch some TV again, and uh, just make sure I get better. So, it's now like 6.30, and we just came back from a pizza place, or an Italian restaurant. And, oh, it was really good. We went there, like, many times before. And then it closed, and then it reopened, um, like, recently, eight months ago. And so we went there, and John and I split uh, pepperoni pizza. And it was, like, our family split two pizzas. We had, uh, like, a um, tomato vegetarian one uh, with pepper, and then we had, like, a pepperoni one. And we had Caesar salad as well, and it, honestly, it was amazing. And right now, we're here, are about to go watch a couple Christmas movies, probably like Frosted Snowman, Rudolph, The Grinch, just like those classic ones. But honestly, I'm feeling a lot better right now. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure those the pills that I had earlier are kicking in now. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm about to do. So, um, yeah, so... And then maybe I'll come back and talk to you about my favorite Christmas movies and why they're my favorite Christmas movies. So yeah, I'm about to go downstairs and watch Christmas movies. So it is now later and I have a Christmas tree behind me right now uh, because I want to talk to you guys about my favorite Christmas classics and when this video is going out it is on uh, Christmas Eve so I thought this was probably one of the best times to talk about this I know I could have talked about this like in the days leading up until Christmas but the 24th is probably one of my favorite times of the year besides my birthday or anyone else's in my family's birthday or anything like that, or like big celebrations. I love Christmas Day and Christmas Eve. That might just be because we have a party on Christmas Eve, and every year we just have the same party with the same people, and it's just very enjoyable. And um, and we've all grown up, and it's kind of crazy because it's mostly just the people on my street, and we've all been here for... Uh, we are the, my family is, are the shortest people that have lived here, and we have lived here coming up on 18 years, and so it's kind of crazy that the people on my street haven't moved in at least 18 years, and to think about that, that we have been having this party for, I don't even know, maybe 14, I don't know, 10, I don't know, a lot of years, and honestly, this New Year's Eve party is probably my favorite party that we have. We have a St. Patrick's Day party and we have a Good Friday uh, party. And um, this Christmas Eve one is just a lot of fun. And my mom went over to our neighbor's house today and uh, they, they asked if we were going to be there. 
and because they're always excited about these Christmas Eve parties and we've always thought of going to Newfoundland um, for Christmas but we've always thought about like what will happen to your Christmas Eve party and I don't know just thoughts like that because they are neighbors and friends and family always look forward to these uh, Christmas Eve parties but anyway uh, after we got back from the pizza place we started watching The Grinch, uh, Frosty the Snowman, and uh, Rudolph. And those are my like favorite Christmas movies and like my classics. But I also like Elf, uh, The Home Alone, Home Alone 1 and 2. Those are like the best ones. The other ones are not that good because they don't have... Uh, they, they're, they're just not the same vibe in it, you know, and... I don't know, I just, I love Home Alone 1 and 2, and they, I don't know, they're, they're just, they ha the, uh, they're just really good, and once you go like 3, 4, 5, and I think there's, I don't know how many other, but the, they're, they're not as good or good at all, but, um, and then Elf is just another classic one there. And there's also one that I really love. Uh, it's called, it's White Christmas, and it has uh, Bing Crosby in it. And this is like what his song White Christmas is all about. And it's my mother's favorite Christmas movie. But I have a couple ones here. So this Grinch one is my favorite one, and this is the original one. And sure, the Jim Carrey one is amazing, but honestly, nothing will top this one, just because how nostalgic it is. And going back to like the 60s, honestly, it's just an amazing movie. And um, I don't know, every time I watch this movie, it just gives me like the Christmas vibes and everything like that. And even though it's only 30 minutes, it is an amazing movie. And also in here, I love this. This is what gets me, honestly, through the Christmas spirit. Um, so on here, we have, it's called, literally, it's called Christmas Classics. So we have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer on here, Frosty the Snowman, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, With the Little Drummer Boy, and Frosty Returns. So, I love Frosty the Snowman, and honestly, I don't know why, but I think all, like, the older Christmas movies are the best ones. So, right here is Rudolph, and this is what we watched tonight, Rudolph, and, um... I, the Rudolph one is amazing. Even though they're really old, they just give around the Christmas like spirit more than the newer ones. Uh, I don't know why, but I just feel like I vibe more with these ones. And if we go to here, we have uh, songs from the Christmas classics. And it's just like a whole, it's not like a movie, but it's like songs. Like, from all of these ones, all of these movies in here. And it's just, I don't know, it's just really enjoyable. And then, we have the one, the only, Frosty the Snowman. Frosty the Snowman, I know there's like two of them, but, um, Frosty the Snowman, like the first one is more recognized, and the second one's pretty good, but the first one is like the best one. It's like, I don't know, Frosty the Snowman is an amazing movie. And... I, I really enjoy the Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Uh, it's like the one where it's like the ginger uh, Kris Kringle. It's just, that one's really cool too. And um, I know like we've come a long way from like the, the graphics in these. And I know like, oh sure, you can do better now. But like the voices and everything and just like the whole... Like I said before, like, nostalgic it is. And it's because, also maybe because my parents grew up watching these, and they showed me these, and I grew up watching these, and hopefully I can show my kids, and they will be growing up watching these, and it will just keep on continuing. Because they came out in the 60s, and if you think about that, when I was growing up, I watched these. To think about that, that's like, I don't even know how many years. Uh, it would be... 40 years to 2000, and then I was born in 2002, so at least when I was, at least 40 years after these came out, uh, at least they were in the 60s, I think, something, 60s, 70s, 
around there. So 40, 30, 40 years that these have been released and we're still watching them. To think about that, like, I don't know. And also, um, Charlie Brown Christmas. That's also one of my mother's favorite movies and she grew up watching that and she brought it to us and I just really enjoy it uh, just between like Snoopy and Charlie Brown. Just the whole thing. Uh, it's really funny and I like really funny movies but like I I love Christmas you guys can tell. Uh, and I, know, I don't even have Christmas socks on but... I have uh, Rubik's Cube socks, but for sure tomorrow, I'll be wearing my Christmas socks, my Santa hat, my uh, Christmas uh, like flannel type thing. Tomorrow for the Christmas spirit, I'll be getting into it tomorrow. Even though I'm a little bit sick, but I, honestly, I'm feeling a lot better. And I know I still sound sick, but it is what it is. You're going to have to deal with it. But yeah, so uh, these have been honestly my Christmas classics. And comment down below what your favorite are, but these have been mine. So, I do think that was honestly a pretty good way to uh, honestly wrap up and get ready for Christmas because this is going on on uh, Christmas Eve at 3 o'clock and honestly, I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, it might go up earlier because we're going to church and uh, we are being there at 3.15. John has to read and like the seats really fill up so we, we're, we're trying to get good seats. But there will be, uh, I don't even, uh, hopefully, I will be recording tomorrow, and then on the 26th, I don't know what I'll do tomorrow for my video, but I don't know, we'll see, we'll, we'll see if we can figure something out. But, um, so on the 26th, there will be the Christmas video, and honestly, I'm really hyped for Christmas. I love Christmas, if you guys can tell already. But yeah, so, like I said earlier, comment down below what your favorite Christmas classics are, because I know those are mine. But yeah, so I'm going to get to editing this video so that I can post it tomorrow and not edit it tomorrow because it is Christmas Eve and I have a lot going on tomorrow. But um, yeah, so I'm going to get to editing it. So yeah, I do believe that is going to have to end off today's video. So I basically like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you'd like to watch another video, guys, be subscribed to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications, and smash that like button. Smash. Say savage minds. Peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Run, run!